If you're in college or a relatively hard math class, you're probably going to need one of these. Now, when you see these, you're probably going to frown because it means you got to do some hardcore math. But today, it means you can hack a PlayStation 3. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak a PlayStation 3 using a calculator. This was developed by some guy uh, called Brandon Wilson. His name is Brandon Wilson. It's Brandon L. Wilson on Twitter. I'll link you to his uh, Twitter in my description. Uh, go ahead and out reply him. Thanks. Thank him because this is just a great exploit. Uh, I'm in college and I need a graphing calculator and I happen to fall upon this. The TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. Uh, this is like one of the two calculators this will work with, so I'm glad I got that one. Um, but basically, it it runs the exploit, like you know the PS jailbreak, that little USB dongle. Um, it basically does that, but it runs it off the calculator and it puts your PS3 into dev mode. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Um, first, before I do that, uh, you're going to need to download a file. I'll have, a, I'll have the a link to the file down there, just as usual. Um, that's going to be the, the program to transfer files to the calculator from your computer. And you're also going to need to download um, the pack from uh, Brandon L. Wilson modified by like GNSPS or something like that. So um, let's go ahead and I'll sh walk you through it. Alright, first I want to show you guys that uh, the calculator is hooked up. So um, here's the calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and move the camera. And it's hooked in. To that USB port. Right there. Okay. Sorry, I can't find a good screen screen capture uh, tool for Windows. Uh, I've had some suggestions, but um, nothing really so far that I really like. So anyway, we'll keep looking. But anyway, um, you're going to want to download um, the program called TI Connect. Once again, I'll have a link. So there it is right here, TI Connect. And you're going to go ahead and launch it. Just waiting for it to initialize. It's going to be, it's probably going to take a minute due to the screen capture. But you're going to go over here and launch TI Device Explorer. I have to turn the calculator on for it to find it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click refresh. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now you're also going to want to have this file downloaded right here. PS3 JB this file right here. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you need WinRAR to extract it. So go ahead and extract it, and you'll get something that looks like this. This is the original. This is the one that supposedly. Well, I'm not sure what that is, but anyway, this is the one that supposedly runs um, Backup Manager, but it, it's buggy right now, so the Backup Manager doesn't work. It allows you to make the backups, but not to play them. But this is being worked on as I speak, and I'm sure probably by tonight or tomorrow, or even the day after, we'll have a nice fix for that. So anyway, you're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to put this off to the side real quick, and here's TI Explorer. You're going to, all you have to do is you take this file, and you drop it in to where that is highlighted. You just drop it, and it'll do its thing. You can see it's doing some stuff on the calculator here. Receiving PS3 JB app. You can see here, it's basically done. Okay, so it's done. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the calculator. I'm going to quit this first. Close this folder and close that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to unplug the calculator. It's now unplugged. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do this all live. There's my PlayStation 3. I'll switch my monitor. As you can see, it's still on. It's at the cross media bar. Let's see if I can find my controller. Alright, so here I'm going to go ahead and shut the PlayStation off. Okay, you should see the red light. This is my external hard drive for backup manager, so I'm just going to put this off to the side. And this is where the magic is going to happen. So here's the calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this right in. Now keep in mind, if you have the FAT model, you want to hit the switch in the back so there's no red LED and you want to keep it like that for a couple seconds. Now on the calculator you want to make sure it's on. 
you're going to go ahead and click the purple apps button right there. Apps. You're going to go ahead and hit alpha and go down to P. And here's PS3 jailbreak. You'll get to the credit screen. Okay. You go ahead and hit any button to continue and you want to hit one. So now it says connect your PS3 to your calculator, which it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the switch. And you hit the power and eject real quick. And we'll see what it does on the calculator. Working. Done. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Go ahead and get my controller ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the calculator off to the side. You can see an unknown USB device has been connected. That doesn't matter because you now have App Home PS3 game and install package files. And your PS3 is now hacked. Um, just make sure you don't sign into the PlayStation Network. And I'm going to go ahead and just install Backup Manager really quick to see how you how you do it. So my I have Backup Manager on the on the external hard drive here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And for those of you wondering, you really don't need the calculator anymore. So go ahead and just exit the app by hitting um, on. And go ahead and shut her off. And you can unplug her. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and focus back on the monitor. I'm going to go over here to install package files. I'll have to turn my external on. So now it should show up. Takes a second. There we go. Okay, so there's manager. Just go ahead and hit X and it'll install it. There you go. Backup manager. Simple as that. So that's all there is to it to jailbreaking your PS3. There's many other methods, but this is the one that was most convenient to me because I had the calculator. Uh, but there's also rumors of it coming to iPhone, it's coming to PSP. Uh, you can already do it with a Nexus One. Um, there's another phone I think you could do it with, but I forget what it is. Um, you can buy the PS jailbreak. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do. Um, there's more and more stuff coming out every day that's being ported to something different every day. Uh, just go ahead and go to ps3-hacks.com, ps3hacks.net. There's a whole bunch of PS3 sites out there that will really help you out. Um, some homebrews finally starting to come out. I saw an app release today on ps3-hacks.com. Um, it's like an FTP server, so it's something basic, but that's how PSP started. And look how much homebrew came to that. So, um, Sony did release firmware 3.42, do not update, because um, this does not work. So go ahead and update if you don't really mind jailbreaking, if you don't want it. But to those hackers out there who want to be able to run all their homebrew, do not update. This is the, the typical Sony versus the world kind of thing. So stay away from the latest updates. Maybe one day we'll see a custom firmware release. I doubt it, um, but we'll never know. So this is a great step towards the PS3. It is finally hacked. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment me. I'm at Twitter, or on Twitter, I'm at CPU Kid. Um, go ahead and at reply me. Go ahead and comment the video. Go ahead, anything. So, any questions, you know what to do. So, thanks for watching.